Alright guys, we're going to have another make do at the cabin recipe. Erica wanted some sort of scramble this morning. I wasn't up to it. So she says, you know, why don't we just make it for dinner? And that's what we're going to do. We're going to have breakfast tonight. Uh, we've been working hard outside. And we've been cleaning up the place because we haven't had time to come up here. Let me just adjust this a little bit. We've been working, like I said at Erica's new place. So this place has been neglected a little, but we went out and I picked up, uh, actually this morning, I picked up a lot of chicory guys and we're gonna add the flowers to tonight's scramble. And we have some young shoots of hostas that taste just like asparagus guys especially when they're young and they're tender. These have unraveled, but they're still good and they're still tender. Late in the summer, they get a little harder to chew, but if you get them in the spring, they are delicious, even if they shot up a little and unraveled, so they're still good. But it's the base part that's really, really delicious. So. I picked some of those, we're gonna cut some of those in there, and we're gonna add these beautiful flowers into our scramble. So we're gonna put that aside. And my onions started to shoot up. So what we did was, before we plant them outside, uh, I had them in a bowl of water. Actually, I put these up last time we were here. So they got nice and big, and we've been using them for dinner. We're going to cut some of these greens and we're going to add those to our dish. It's going to be a very simple scramble made with some leftover potatoes. I'm going to use some chickpea flour and very soft tofu that resembles a scramble and I'm going to use a little bit of water and flour and that becomes like a roux almost like a kind of puts everything together so that's what we're gonna do yeah we have a couple of tomatoes that are starting to go so now's a good time to use them like I said now's a great time guys if you haven't picked any dandelion now's a good time to do it it's the first dandelion of the season and it is just simply delicious you know, there's a lot of health benefits in dandelion. Okay, I got a good knife. Okay, so we're just going to cut them kind of smallish. And I am putting even the leaves because they're nice and tender. I did bring some up that I had picked at my house. Since Erica's were just a little younger. And hostas, all hostas are edible, guys. In Japan, they use hostas in a lot of dishes. So we're going to just throw that in our pan. We're going to chop up, actually, uh, yeah, let me just chop up this tomato. Are starting to go, so now's a good time to use them up. Basically, whatever we have on hand, that's what we're going to use. We didn't come up with a lot of groceries, so we let nature feed us. Like, I picked a lot of chicory, so uh, for tomorrow, maybe tomorrow night, I'm going to cook the chicory, and we're going to have that on bread. That is delicious, guys. You can make sandwiches, or maybe I'll make something else with it. So I am just going to cut. I've got these onions. I'm going to throw these in first into my pan. So I am going to cut these. It doesn't matter what size. They are, but I will also cut a little bit of onion. 
not just a green. So I'm going to pull an onion out of the fridge and use some of that. I'm dragging myself today. I've been working really hard. Not just me, Erica, my husband, helping Erica with her place in the city. And we come up here and there's some work that has to be done up here. Last time we were here, I'm not sure if you went to see my other channel, but we put out some of the summer furniture. And it's been so hot up here. It's like crazy hot. But a nice welcome. The only thing that's not a nice welcome are the black flies. Oh my God, they're like on a vengeance this time around. So uh, we've been wearing uh, nets over our heads. And uh, Eric and I have this called camo for when she does wildlife photography. It's basically a jacket that looks like leaves but it's made like a net so the mosquitoes don't get you and the animals don't see you there so you can actually take pictures of them and them not being scared of you so we've been using that that kind of helped okay so i'm only using half an onion a little bit of young hosta shoots uh if you could get them before they unravel they're delicious but by this time by the time you see this video they've already unraveled they're still good. Cut them way to the, way at the bottom and just cut them in small pieces and they're going to be delicious no matter what. They're still going to be delicious. Just don't eat hostas when they've been open for a long time and they get a little woodsy. But anything that's young, like if you keep cutting around the bush, you get new shoots all the time. Those are the ones that you want to consume. And if you do that, you could do that through the whole summer. So that's a good thing. So I'm going to put a little bit of oil, which that is finished already. And we're going to start cooking this up. Put this aside. And then we're going to start adding some ingredients together. Okay, we're going to add the tomato just a little later. But what I will do is cut up the potatoes that we cooked yesterday. And we're going to add this to our meal because we don't waste anything, right guys? So while that's starting to go, I am going to keep skin and all. You could remove the skin if you want to. But we don't mind the skin. And we're going to add this to our... veggies that we're frying up. I'm just giving you ideas. I'm sure you guys, some of you already do this, use leftovers in a dish. But I do use potatoes in a lot of my breakfast dishes. And I was lucky to have some Oh wait. I was lucky to have some on hand, so I have it on high, yes. And like I said, nature really gives us a lot of food. Right now, the only mushroom that we're able to find, uh, last week we found some pheasant back. Uh, those, you have to get them really young, but they're delicious. They taste just like cucumber or melon. Uh, and you know it's a pheasant back when you smell it and it smells like watermelon or cucumber. So you know exactly what that is. There's a little extra olive oil over this. But yeah, you can eat a lot of free food, guys. If you know what you're looking for, Yeah, nature really does give you a lot of food, and it's delicious, it's organic, you know there's no pesticides, especially if you go out in wild nature. Okay, I'm going to throw my potatoes in now. Oops. Just 
just going to be a scramble with a little bit of tofu. And some veggies. Okay. I do need a little extra fat. Made myself to rehydrate myself. I was so parched today being outdoors. It's ginger water and a little bit of electrolytes. And Erica's big tractor lawnmower broke, so <laughs> we're picking the chicory first, but then the lawn has to be mowed by hand, which I don't know how long that's going to take, but it has to be done. A little bit of salt. A little bit of black pepper. And we have a little bit of chili flakes. Like that's so spicy and hot. Okay, okay so I'm going to show you. We're very hungry, so we're going to use two of these. These are great because they don't need refrigeration. I put them in the fridge anyhow because I have room in here. But Easy to carry, no refrigeration if you go camping or if you go hiking. Uh, this is great to have. Uh, and all you do is open it up and eat it. You can season it with stuff. So we're going to cook it. But before we do that, we're going to add just a little bit of water in here. And we're gonna add my chickpea flour. There we go. See, it absorbs all the water and it's still a little lumpy. Just add a little extra water. Always start with a little, work your way to more. And to uh, clean some chicory. Okay, we're going to add our tomato now. I've got two small tomatoes. a little bit of mustard for a tang. Now you can also add milk if you want. A little extra water. And while this is cooking down like this, I am going to, which won't take long really, so uh, I might have to shut this off finish my salad and then I'm gonna add my tofu to this and I'll show you what else I do but I want to show you my salad so I'm gonna bring you over while well, this is on low mm. this is so good and so healthy for you Salt of taste, right guys? And I'm going to show you my, bring you over, my beautiful salad over here. I'm not sure if you can see it. We've got some beautiful 
small strawberry flowers. We have some little um, little pansies. They grow wild on the grass or in the garden beds. Uh, the leaves taste just like spinach. They're edible. The flowers are edible. We have a little bit of mixed salad here that we have, or my husband brought up. And now, my chicory is completely washed. I leave the butts attached to it because it makes the chicory last even longer. And then what I do is just the last little bits right on the outer. Sometimes they'll go a little yellow on you. Then you take those and you just throw those out. Cut these a little smaller. I will not cut that butt. Just take off the butt. Now I did save some long ones to make tea because chicory root is very good for you. So this is a small one. It's just going to go. But there we go. A little bit of chicory. Break the butt part a little. See, this is all washed, but I left. Some of them I take the root. Some of them, most of them I do not take the root because I want the dandelion to come back. But some of them I did take the root because we save it for, for the tea, guys. Just take the uglies on the outside. When I wash it, I just wash it. I don't worry about the ugly parts of my dandelion. And then it's just a matter of cutting it up in my salad. This will be as a salad. But tomorrow, I think we're going to cook it up. Free vegetables, guys. Free vegetables. Very important to eat healthy. Uh, that's why there's so much benefit in these wild greens because if you don't water your lawn, your flowers will all die. But dandelion roots, the roots go down so much, they go all the way down where uh, they find minerals and water, so they always stay green. Anything that dies, if it doesn't get watered, you know that the soil is completely um, depleted. But because the dandelion roots could go far down, you know that it's full of good stuff. So this is a good thing to eat. All right. Okay, so here's our tofu. This tofu has very little water. Beautiful soft tofu. And this dish is also very high in protein because you've got the chickpea flour that is, let me try to open the light for us, a little yellow, eh guys? Sorry, best I can do. Um, we have the chickpea flour that's high in protein, plus we have the tofu, very good for us. And now I am going to open up this last one and we're going to bring this back up. This tofu is delicious, just like this. Actually, you know how I like it? If you take uh, chili flakes, fry it up in olive oil, and then you pour it on top of the tofu. Very, very good. Okay, so we're going to mix this up. dandelion greens and the flowers are very bitter I think you would it's an acquired taste but the good thing is that if you eat it and eat it often enough you get used to it that's for sure okay we will now add some of our beautiful flowers Okay, I'm gonna mix this 
color. Erica, would you get me some maple look? Okay, I'm gonna bring that up. And what I do at the end, I sprinkle some flour. That's gonna help it bind even more. A little extra olive oil, not too much. Oop, that could be too much. A little maple. And that's it. I'm gonna cook it for a few minutes. Cook up that flour. Delicious scramble with some wild greens in it. That is not only delicious but very healthy for us. And we're gonna have a little bit of sourdough bread and some chicory and mixed sour on the side. Looks like I put a lot, but I did it. Remember, salt and pepper is always to taste. And I always pretty much cook it on a lowish heat. This way nothing sticks on you. And that's it. Let me just try it. Mm. Really, really good. Now, if you have at home, you could use some vegan cheese. That'll help to make it nice and gooey. But there you go. Very simple, very cheap, very healthy, very delicious. All right, guys, I'll show you when I plate it. Maple syrup. Do about three capfuls of balsamic. There we go. A little olive oil. I'm gonna wash my hands because I love to toss this with my hands. Now, if I didn't have my mixed salad, I would have uh, had this beautiful, beautiful chicken salad. Need some extra flour, maybe on top. I always put salt at the very end. Put on top, I guess. Delicious. I wish you could taste this. Very little olive oil. Basically, it's maple and balsamic. And then salt at the end, whoever wants it. Some extra. Chicory flowers. Okay, guys. And then, of course, some chicory salad. And that is our dinner. So I'm going to say thank you guys for dropping by at the cabin again and here I will show you how to make food with very little ingredients 
or stuff that you can find out in nature. So I'm going to say I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Dinner is beautiful, delicious. Erica's going to cut some of my cheese to put on her bread. This is my road cheese. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Mm -mm. How beautiful. And there you go. So I hope you give this a try, guys. Go out, pick some hostas, and always pick the younger shoots. Cook them up. They're delicious. There's a lot of health benefits. Look them up. Hostas have been eaten in Japan for the longest time. Every hosta is edible. The chicory in your lawn, get that chicory, cook it up, eat it raw, and enjoy it. So I'm going to say I love you guys, and I'm glad you dropped by at the cabin again. Give it a try, Eric. Oh, that's my hot sauce. I'll show you what I make. Smoky apple hot sauce. Spicy but delicious. How is it? Mmm. Good? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to make my plate. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. I love you, and like I said, thanks for dropping by at the cabin. We'll see you a little later. Right. And if you want to see what we do up here, check out my channel. Sorry, check out my our other channels, not just mine, it's mine and Erica's. And hopefully we're going to try and make some really nice videos for you guys. We're trying really hard. We want to make them pleasing to the eye. It's called The Woods Beyond. And you want to go and subscribe and support me there i really appreciate it so i'm going to say i love you and i'll see you soon you're not waiting for me okay <laughs> all right guys i love you